All right, everyone, welcome to practice test journal number four, Drawing Basics. This first video is just an introduction to this process journal and briefly goes over the whole process journal, but I won't go into too much detail here because I'm going to break it down um, in each tutorial for you too. All right, so in this process journal, we're going to talk about um, not only art concepts, but also self-management and risk taking. Um, so learning to draw takes time and patience and you've got to be gentle with yourself during this time. Um, so I would like you to focus on self-motivation, which means, um, analyzing and, and I'm looking at what might have not worked so well the last time and practicing self-talk and positive thinking and, um, failing well and dealing with disappointment. And that is because, you know, there's never a perfect art to drawing, um, just practicing drawing and building our skills like this. So it's okay to get it wrong. And I want you to just be okay with that. All right. So in this, um, process journal, we, I'll have you watch tutorial visit, uh, videos and complete activities. You're going to be drawing hands, faces, and objects uh, from home using blind contour, contour, and value. You'll be setting up a small still lights um, from objects in your home, um, reflecting on the experience overall, and participating in a critique at the end. So we've got a lot more vocabulary with this one. Um, so I'd like you to make sure that you are pulling up this presentation and viewing it for yourself so that you can get a look at the vocabulary. Um, but it's also in your process journal uh slides that I'll show you at the end. Um, we are going to talk about shape, form, contrast, composition, value, and space. Um, and I really want you to think about each of those as we go through this. Um, I will present them throughout the presentation. I'll kind of talk about each of them in different ways. So let's start here. Uh, what is observational drawing? It's actually looking at something and then drawing it. So it's representational, which, which means you're actually, actually trying to show a certain thing. Um, our goal here with contour drawing and observational drawing is to really connect your hand and your eye together. So we're going to start with contour drawing. It's the kind of backbone of drawing. Um, and before we do that, I have to know um, how you can draw. So you are actually going to take a, a five minutes and it says five to ten minutes. Um, I'm not going to provide any tips for this first part. We're actually going to all do this in class together. So if you missed it, you're going to want to do this first. And you're going to draw the best hand that you could possibly draw. And then make sure that you're putting the photo into your, um, ev your process journal and labeling it with a uh, first hand drawing. Oh, I'm getting reminders here. No, I don't want to go there now. Thank you. Of course, you know, there always has to be some sort of something. You can't just be always perfect. <laughs> that just shows you. Um, we're going to keep going anyway. So I'd like you to stop this video um, if you're watching it. And before you go any further, that's right. If you're watching this, you're actually going to stop whatever you're doing. And if you haven't participated in this in class, you're going to do it now and draw the best hand you can draw. All right, and when you come back, just make sure you take a photo of it and put it in the evidence section of photographic evidence on your process journal. All right, moving on, we are going to start with blind contour first, and I'm going to walk you through how to do a blind contour drawing. Um, you'll do drawing drills by yourself, and then you'll reflect at the end. And I always put these reminders at the bottom to make sure you're uploading all of your evidence uh, to your... Uh, process journal right away. I'm going to refresh my page because again, we just, everything can't be perfect. We have to have some little mess ups. So I think it's because I just deleted that stuff off of my desktop and that's why it did that. Okay. So I want to show you, I, I'm going to show you some examples here and I will go in great detail in that later. The second part is contour drawing. So the difference between blind contour and contour is that blind contour, you can't see the item that you're drawing. And with contour, you can. Um, so it's going to be a little bit more pretty <laughs> and I'll show you some of the details here. Um, and then at the end of that, you will do some drawing of your own. You will uh, reflect and upload to photographic evidence. And I show you some examples here. Moving into the next part, value. We've got a lot to cover in this. So we will be covering all of this work here, looking at value scales and how mark making works. 
and then going to shaded spheres and shaded shapes here. Um, and later, and I totally forgot to add this, but I have examples of my own that I do in the videos. And when I actually do each of the tutorial videos, you'll see my examples in them that I do. Um, and then you'll get a chance to watch me draw. Uh, there's the activity and reflection for that. And then the final part is the fun part. We get to actually put all these skills together and you can create a small still life drawing for me uh, here. And then here we have the basic assignments. I break it down for you. Um, and then here's the summary. So this is the final reflection that you complete after you do the critique. Uh, this is the rubric and we're going to be grading criterion strand A on the rubric, so the knowledge um, of the art form studied. Uh, so you'll be collecting knowledge throughout this. There's a lot of stuff that you'll be learning along the way. This is our uh, rubric here again, and I put a new thing in there for you. It's called a pacing guide. So if you're a person that's having trouble doing these and not knowing how to pace yourself, here's how you should be pacing them. Um, I will put this in all of my process journals. Okay, and then here is this uh, guide to finishing it. So here we go. Um, enjoy this process journal assignment. I've got all of the slides already loaded in for you in my uh, process journal in Schoology. Now here's a change. You got more slides here. And normally I told you you only have to have three slides, but you do have to have more because you, you're going to want the room. There's four parts of this and then you've got the final questions. So just make sure that you know that there's uh, five slides to copy instead of four. I also left two photo uh, slides because you're going to have a lot of photos with this and I want you to make sure that you get all of them. All right, so have fun.